Let's learn about the fastest way of putting hair onto your character in Maya using Ornatrix plugin. So if I go to my Ornatrix shelf here, we are seeing a bunch of tools that we can utilize. Choose the Create Brush tool and as soon as I click it you can see that we have a brush. If you start pressing and dragging on top of your character, we have created some hair roots. We can control the length of these hair roots inside of the Edit Guides Attribute Editor controls here, where we can set the strand length, and we can use the Edit Guides here to control various other things. To get the control over the actual placement of the hairs, you can double-click the Maya Tools option window, and here we have the brush settings. You can change the brush uh, shape or size, or you can change the uh, various other parameters, such as the strength. If I undo this right now, um, if I press again, you can see that the roots are placed very randomly, kind of like Microsoft Paint spray brush. If you want the roots to be placed more uniformly, you can change the spacing parameter over here. For example, you can set this to a value of 1, and the spacing will be uniform, and the roots will not be created closer to each other than one length apart. So you can change the spacing parameter to what you need, and this will provide a more realistic result because in real life hair roots are spaced uh, evenly like this they're not really randomly spaced um, kind of like pores on the skin are so if I set this to a smaller value like 0 0.4 we can just spray the hairs wherever we need and if I continue spraying with existing hairs already planted it will respect the previously planted hairs and it will not plant the hairs where we have already planted them. So you can just continue spraying them like this and put the hair where you need this on your character. Again, this could be a complete character scalp or it can be a complete character body mesh. Uh, it doesn't really matter and you don't have to paint any other masks or anything like this or separate a scalp from the uh, from the rest of the character. You can just select the places on top of your character's body and put the hairs where you need them. If you made a mistake, you can always go and select the delete brush and delete the hairs which you have created just like this. For example, here we may want to delete the hairs a little bit at the top. Delete brush, comb brush and all the other brushes are available on the tool shelf and when you select them they all have separate parameters. For example, if I have selected the, the square shape for this brush, uh, for the create brush, I can still go and use the round shape for the comb brush. So once we have created our hairs, we can go and cut the ones uh, that we don't need, maybe change the length a little bit on the character and perform various other styling as you would have done previously using the edit guides inside Ornatrix. So let me just brush the hairs, maybe decrease the strength a little bit. Whatever you do here is now up to you and depends on your actual grooming skills. If you want to change the width of the hairs, you can always open the operator stack and at the top, using the change width operator, you can decrease the width over here. So this is the fastest and easiest way to start placing and grooming hairs on your character using Ornatrix plugin for Maya.